Hi guys, it's it's me again. Um, I'm gonna be doing a short video on factorizing the difference of two squares, right? So let's remind you guys, um, please click like and subscribe to my math channel, right? Um, and yes, I do give online classes, um, maths, chemistry, and physics, right? Um, I am a past national scholarship winner in science. So you're in good hands. So let's take a, a look at this here. This first question, right? We, the first thing we have to be able to factorize the difference of two squares, right? Now, this is what we need to remember here when it comes to factorizing the difference of two squares, right? Now, a squared minus b squared, it can be written as a plus b in brackets, a minus b in brackets, right? Now, let me show you why that is true. If I have a plus b and I want to multiply that by a minus b, right? So here's how you multiply a bracket like this. You have to take the first term in the first bracket and multiply by the first term in the second bracket. So a by a is gonna give me a squared. Then I'm gonna take this a and I'm gonna multiply it by this minus b. So a by minus b gives me minus a, B. Then we have to take this B and multiply by this A. So that's going to give me plus A, B, right? You can write B if you want, but that's fine. And then B by minus B, I'm going to get minus B squared, right? So that's what I'm going to get here. Um, then if we simplify this, we're going to get A squared. This minus A, B plus A, B is going to give me zero. It's going to cancel each other. And then the only thing we're left with is minus B squared, right? So like I said, what you all need to remember is this, when it comes to factorizing the difference of two squares, right? Now in the exam, you have to be able to identify if I'm using this method or not, right? So I'm gonna do several questions here and you're gonna see what, how you're gonna identify if we're gonna use that method or not. So look at this here. The first thing, we have four P squared minus Q squared. We have two terms separated by a minus sign, right? Now, look at this. I can write 4p squared minus q squared as 2p squared minus q squared. And now it looks like a difference of two squares. So when I factorize this, I'm gonna get 2p plus q, open brackets, 2p minus q, right? So to identify if I'm gonna use the difference of two squares, right? I must have a minus sign, I must have two terms but the two terms have to be square variables. So I can't have something like P cube minus four P squared, right? If you look at this here, this is not the difference of two squares. Yes, I have two terms. Yes, I have a minus sign, but P cube is not a square variable, right? In this particular case, I'm gonna to have to use the HCF method in order to factorize this, right? Now, let's look at another one here. So we have 25 X squared minus nine X squared. We have two terms, they're separated by a minus sign, right? And each of those two variables are square variables. So 25 X squared can be written as five X squared minus nine Y squared could be written as three Y squared. So therefore I can write this as five X plus three Y in one bracket and five X minus three Y. So the two brackets are identical except for the minus sign. Right, that's the only thing that's different between the two brackets. Now, let's look at another one here. We have 16p squared minus one. So this is one of those trick ones that CXC might give you. Um, 16p squared minus one, we have two variables separated by a minus sign. What people don't realize is that one is a square variable. So I can write this as, now 16p squared can be written as 4p all squared minus one squared, right? One can be written as one squared. So now we have a difference of two squares. So this can be written as four P plus one, four P minus one, right? So that's what we have here. And that's what we get when we factorize 16 P squared minus one. Let's look at another one here. Again, we have uh, two variables separated by a minus sign and we have one again here. So I can write this as two, P, now Q fourth is the same as saying, so Q to the power four is the same as saying Q squared 
multiplied by Q squared, right? So this can be written as Q squared, and we're gonna square all of this minus one squared. So now I have written it in the form of the difference of two squares. So this here is gonna be two P Q squared plus one, two P Q squared minus one, right? Let's do our next one here. So you wanna factorize this one minus nine M squared. Again, two terms separated by a minus sign and each of the two terms are square variables. So I can write this as one squared minus, this could be written as three M N squared, all squared, right? So I can write this as one plus three M N squared, close brackets, one minus three M N squared, right? So we've just factorized this using the difference of two squares. So like I said, this was a short video on how we factorize using the difference of two squares, right?